new research could finally test how quantum mechanics and gravity interact. By using entangled atomic clocks in a network, researchers aim to measure how gravity affects superpositions using technology available today. Led by Igor Pikovsky, this experiment promises to bridge the gap between two theories, mechanics and Einstein's general relativity, that have never been fully connected. Watch this video to learn more about this groundbreaking approach. The Atomic Clock These clocks are so sensitive that they can detect how gravity affects the passage of time across just a few centimeters. According to Einstein's general relativity, time moves more slowly the closer you are to a massive object, a phenomenon known as gravitational time dilation, confirmed through numerous experiments. The researchers propose placing an atomic clock into a quantum superposition, where it exists across multiple locations at once, each at a different height in Earth's gravitational field. This is made possible by using a specific type of entanglement known as a W-state, which distributes the clock's presence across separate nodes in a quantum network. Each of these nodes experiences a slightly different flow of time due to its elevation. When the clock evolves in this superposed state and is later recombined, it creates an interference pattern, much like overlapping waves. This interference reveals how differences in gravitational potential affect the evolution of the quantum system. What makes this test unique isn't the presence of interference, but how that pattern changes with varying gravitational gradients. If the clock maintains its quantum coherence, meaning the superposition remains intact despite unequal time flows, it suggests that quantum mechanics can operate reliably even in curved space-time. If coherence weakens or vanishes, it could point to new physics at the intersection of gravity and quantum behavior. This experiment doesn't rely on exotic equipment or futuristic theory. The building blocks, entangled clocks, photonic links, and quantum control systems already exist. What's groundbreaking is how they're combined to explore a long untested question. Can quantum systems remain stable when time itself bends? On one side are these mechanics, which describe how particles behave at very small scales, using probabilities, uncertainty, and superpositions. On the other hand, general relativity, which treats gravity not as a force, but as a manifestation of space-time curvature, and it works beautifully for stars, galaxies, and black holes. The problem is that these two theories do not integrate smoothly. The theory assumes a flat, absolute time parameter, while general relativity shows that time itself bends, stretches, and changes based on gravitational influence. That mismatch becomes particularly troubling when trying to describe environments like the early universe or the interior of black holes, places where both gravity and effects are strong. The experiment proposed by Pakovsky and his team addresses this tension not by building a grand theory, but by asking a well-defined, measurable question. Can a superposition, in this case an atomic clock, remain coherent when its parts experience different gravitational time flows? This isn't just a technical exercise. It's a way to test the foundations of physics where they overlap. So far, quantum theory has passed every test, but those tests have mostly been conducted in environments where gravity was negligible or carefully eliminated. This proposal intentionally keeps gravity in the mix. If the interference pattern follows predictions from mechanics, it confirms that the theory works even when time isn't uniform. But if something unexpected appears, for example, a partial or full loss of coherence not explained by known mechanisms, then we may have discovered a new phenomenon, one that could guide efforts to formulate a theory of gravity. Several theoretical models predict that gravity might induce decoherence, causing these systems to collapse into classical states. Beyond theoretical insight, this experiment has practical and technological implications that make it even more compelling. First, it showcases a new use for quantum networks. These systems are often discussed in the context of building secure communication channels, but here they're used for a completely different purpose. Precision measurement of relativistic effects on these states. 
This expands the role of its networks from functional infrastructure to fundamental scientific instrumentation. Second, the tools involved, optical atomic clocks, photon-based entanglement, and high-fidelity links, are already in use. National metrology labs, including those in the US, Europe, and Japan, are operating optical clocks with uncertainties below one part of 10 to the power to 18. The proposal simply integrates those capabilities in a new configuration, making the project viable without the need for entirely new hardware. Third, the outcomes could lead to more accurate timekeeping standards, as technologies like satellite navigation and deep space missions demand increasingly precise clocks, understanding how time behaves under gravitational influence becomes essential. Fourth, this experiment could serve as a prototype for future space-based tests. By placing entangled clocks on satellites or high-altitude platforms, researchers could explore stronger gravitational gradients and longer distances, pushing the precision of these measurements even further. Further. This would enhance not only fundamental research but also applied systems like GPS, Earth observation, and even interplanetary navigation. Fifth, it sets a precedent for laboratory-scale tests of its gravity. Most attempts to study this frontier rely on theoretical models or indirect cosmological observations. A tabletop experiment that measures real-time effects on entangled systems represents a shift in how we approach this area of science. Looking ahead, the research team will likely refine their protocol, focusing on minimizing environmental noise and maintaining entanglement over distance. This proposal offers a practical way to test quantum mechanics under curved spacetime using atomic clocks and entanglement. While it may not solve the gravity puzzle, it provides valuable insights into the resilience of theory or points us to new physics. This focused experiment is a meaningful step forward, where time isn't flat and these systems may reveal more about our universe. See you again!